What's going on guys? Matt from Flying H Farms. We just got home from Costco and uh, Chicken Girl came screaming out of here, bunnies. So we're gonna come check it out and see what we have in here. <sighs> That's an event. This is exciting. Aww. What do we have? We've got three. Oh, they're dead in the back. We yeah. need to pull this thing out. We've got two living. Two. Li Fox out and let's get them out. Well, you remember, they're not they are not dead we, until they're warm dead, okay? How about we give them some let's chance? Let's go to the picnic table and get them. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We need her to pull hair. She did not pull any hair. Maybe she's not done. Yeah, but these ones need to at least be warmed up. Like. Okay. So let's see what we got over here. So she did not pull hair, which is very unusual. She's a very good hair puller. It's kind of interesting. Hey. Okay, so let's see what we got. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure that one's gone. So the girls started to sort out Cottontail's live and dead bunnies. Since it was cold, we wanted to make sure that they were actually dead, so we brought them inside and put them in a heating pad. Because, like they say, a bunny isn't dead unless it's warm dead. Alright, so right now, Chicken Girl's holding on to some in a heating pad. We think they may have been cold since they didn't pull any. Welcome fur. back to Fighting H Farms. Chicken Girl here. It is day four of Bunny Watch. We're going to go see how the bunnies are doing. So Cottontail, the dramatic stuff with Cottontail, she had four die, or they were stillborn, and she had two that survived the night in my bedroom. So they're doing okay. I can get them in to check on her. And I found some interesting stuff in the both nesting bugs. Here we are in her nesting box. She has hair and stuff. No bunnies yet. Yep, just hair. But that is, that is so pretty. That is so pretty in there. Look at that. Isn't that a pretty nest? And then Judy over here, we were thinking she was gonna go this morning, possibly with her babies, but she ended up not, and she hasn't even pulled hair yet. Whereas Nibbles, she's seconds or minutes away. Here we are. Now, Cottontail last night, we had to pull hair off of her because off of her because she wouldn't exactly pull hair for her babies. Oh dear. What? Is that another born one or what? Who looks this born? She burst again. Is that really to me? Is that one dead? Okay, we're gonna be move. Hey, come here. Help me. Look at girl. That is weird. She burst again. She gave birth to another baby. So there he is. And then the others are in the back. Let's bring this inside. This belly. Going in there. Okay, so she stopped filming because we had a shocking revelation. We have one dead, unfortunately. That's really sad. But... We had another one born alive. So this is this has been the strangest um, pregnancy or birth that we've ever experienced so far, right, Chicken Girl? Yeah, and she pulled hair. She pulled hair this time. Yes. So we put it more in there. You know what? Maybe we should go uh, put them back, and she she might do more. I mean, yeah, but she I don't was know. just laying there when I went in there, being cottontail again. So this is really this like is really strange. Them. So yeah, let's definitely put them back. This is the and new one. And feed this to the chickens. Yes, the new and, one's so tiny. Yeah, but it's definitely alive. And so. these guys got some milk. So that's a day separation between the new one and the other ones that were born. This, this is, is so weird. Very bizarre. Yeah, but Nibbles' nest is adorable. Yeah, did you did you show them yes. Nibbles' nest? So hopefully we're going to be getting more babies soon. We'll keep y'all updated. All right, guys. So we have Cottontail here. Um, for some reason, she's rejected these babies. So we're having to uh, force feed right now. Um, I have her face covered, uh, if you saw it, uh, just to keep her calm so that she doesn't try to kick them off or spook. We're not being mean. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to give these guys a chance. 
If she doesn't start doing this on her own pretty soon though, we're gonna have to see if we can share um, with uh, Judy and Nibbles. So hope y'all enjoy this. This is a, I, I, it's the first time that we've, uh, I've seen this and I think it's really fascinating actually. Yeah, you can hear them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can hear them. Yeah, their bellies are definitely starting to stretch for sure. So you can tell they're actually getting something. So yeah, they were not like this though when we brought them in. So the plan tonight is to what they call shelf them. So after uh, we finish this force feed, we'll bring Cottontail back, and then they'll spend the rest of the night in Chicken Girl's room. And I think we're gonna have to just do that until uh, Judy and Nibbles have their babies. No, Nibbles has had her babies. Oh, I'm sorry, so Judy. Both, so yeah. That way we're not putting three babies on a bunny that already has five. They're so cute. Yeah, this is very interesting for sure. So we're headed to the rabbit hutch to go see Cottontail and her babies and the rest of the babies, I guess. Well, we can't forget the rest of the babies. Yeah, they're all very cute. So Cottontail had three. Nibble was the winner of how many had the most babies and look at them so you're going to tell them about her babies and so about the force feeding that they saw so just a second ago force feed fed them and now she's doing them on her own look cottontail want to lick it no you already licked it this morning and it is a pot-bellied bunny yeah she's very well fed so guys, if you didn't understand what she was saying, um, the force feeding that y'all saw before, My that is really friend. cute. Uh, the force feeding that y'all saw before actually kick-started um, Cottontail into becoming a really good mommy and taking care of me. As you can see, they all have full bellies and they're growing great now. Now, 40 runs. Hey, and didn't she start pulling hair again? Yeah, she has a bunch in there. And here's Runt. We name all the little ones Runt. What you think of Blackbeard? That is not Blackbeard. Her name is Daisy. Okay, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. So, because of all of the issues that we have with Cottontail, she will be retiring soon. Yes. So, if y'all want a pet bunny, um, she will be available after this litter is done. Super be sweet rabbit. Yeah, she's very sweet. She'd be a very good pet, just not a very good breeder anymore. I think she's done. Yeah, she's done with her days. But uh, old Daisy over here is ready to take over the role soon, so. Isn't she pretty? Yeah, we're excited to have Daisy as a new breeder. You want okay. food, that's what you want. Yeah, so we'll be getting them food in a second. We're just doing a baby check and update. And here is Juju. All right, so let's see Juju B's babies. Yeah, two babies. Now, I will say, hair. yeah, I was gonna say, I will say she pulled a lot of hair, huh? And there's still more. She had a cabin bunny. Ta da! Oh, full here belly. You go. Hey. See the full belly? Uh huh. It even has a belly. spot on his head. Look, Kevin, it's Kevin Jr. That's his name. Oh, look at Daddy. Oh, he licked it. Oh. And Judy Jr. Yes. Ta da! Is he looking like a Judy? Look, want to sniff the camera? That's too close. One is, this is Judy Jr. Isn't it cute, Kevin? <laughs> he loves it. Kevin is such a sweet buck. And then we have to put her two billion pounds of hair back on. Man, she really did a good job with the hair. Good girl, Judy. I'll give you manna tonight. And don't forget, they get free choice feed too. Oh yeah. It's not quite free choice right now. No, you just need your shaking. Okay. She eats a lot. And she wins the competition of who has the most babies. She had five. Now four, though. One died. Yeah, one decided to sneak out in the middle of the night and freeze. Yeah. And ta-da, isn't this just a precious bunny? Whoa! This one's crazy. This is Kevin Jr. from Born from Nibbles. Look mm -hmm. at it. It's like, oh, there's a spot. 
that's just fine. Look, look, it's like, oh yeah, that's just fine. That's just fine. <laughs> All right. So what we got next? We've got. Come back here. Is that your butt? <laughs> no, that's your ears. Nibbles Junior. Look at his little teeth first. His teethies. Oh. You guys find your way back to the warmth. That's what I do to y'all. I'm sorry, I mean. And Daisy Jr. Look, Daisy, it's you. No Look. one can see your face. Look, it's you, Daisy. You wanna see? She says, I got no. Daisy's like, I have no motherly instincts. Yeah, let's put her back. Yeah, she's like, oh look. Okay, you. This one is a weirdo. And then this one actually has cradle calf, I think. Do you have cradle? No. Yeah, look, cradle cap. Okay, let's see that cradle cap. Right on the top of her head. And this is Auntie Judy Jr. That's her aunt is Judy. How do we treat that cradle cap? I don't know. Better Ison? You were treating it last time. No. You no. let it run its course. Oh, okay. Last time. Ha ha, I see it was a trick question. And then you put her mound of hay. Well, that was only like three, right? That was four. Because we had Nibbles Jr., Auntie, Auntie uh, Judy's Jr., and then we had... Um, what is her name? Daisy Jr. and Kevin Jr. Okay. All right, guys. So um, just to let y'all know, these babies will be available at eight weeks old. So um, get ready, guys, if y'all are wanting some Tamuk bunnies for uh, y'all's cages very soon. Um, but uh, in the meantime, please, please, please take it away. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tell Kevin he said hi. Bye. Oh, and guys, please follow us on Facebook on Flying H Farms. We'll see y'all later. This is Matt. Bye.